I am very excited because tonight Tom and I are putting up our Christmas tree. Oh, I cannot wait for this guys. I'm so, so excited. 2020 has just been one of the worst years I think I've ever had and I think a lot of people have ever had. So it's really nice to get into the Christmas spirit early. It's not that early actually. It is the 22nd of November so it is almost a month till Christmas which crazy but I oh, I just can't wait this is our first time celebrating Christmas in a proper house for the past three years we've been in uni halls and then our own little flats still uni halls but just for the two of us we didn't have to share with anyone else basically and we did have a Christmas tree there but it wasn't I don't know it just wasn't working for us and it is my family's old tree so it wasn't as exciting if that makes sense but this year because we moved into this house the old tree actually doesn't fit it's way too big and so I bought a slim Christmas tree from Argos and it is pre-lit and I did also get the snowy version because I've wanted a snowy Christmas tree for years and because we've literally had the same tree in our house for what about 17 years I think once my mum moved we got different Christmas trees there because obviously brand new house and our old tree just wasn't vibing so I'm really sad but I don't think that's gonna get used by us again unless we keep it in storage and when we do eventually buy a bigger house then we can display it I'm not actually sure but we bought a slim Christmas tree from Argos I will leave it linked down below if I remember but I just honestly cannot wait I am scared though because we do have a cat and she has a very bad history with Christmas trees she ran up our old one quite a few times and caused it to collapse so we'll see how it goes hopefully with the slim one she won't really have the means to do that because there's not as much room for her to move around in the tree but we've got the bubbles out and she is already having an amazing time so <laughs> we'll see about that but without further ado let's put up our Christmas tree What are we putting on it now? <laughs> <laughs> Not the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Get your puss. Got the dog. Not impressed. Oh, video. Next up is chocolates.
guys so we are currently in the car or rather I am Tom's just locking up but this is exciting because we are about to go and get Christmas decorations so the other night you will have seen us put up our Christmas tree and I'm so so happy with it it looks so good but now it's time to decorate the library and possibly other parts of the house I'm not sure yet but we're gonna go to a couple of shops now and have a look for some decorations and see what's there and I will update you guys once I'm back home So the decorations are all up and this is what they look like. I love these lights because they are actually little gingerbread men and I think it's the cutest thing ever. I got them from Aldi actually and I have the box here. So it's just these ones. I only bought one box but I could have done with more to be honest with you. But it does look nice in my little filming setup so this is what you'll probably see in my main videos. And then I'll just talk you through some of the accessories. So the first one is this one. I got this at the range I think and I really like like it. It's just a cute wooden tree. Then I got this lovely candle that says it's the most wonderful time of the year on it and it has a little wreath on top. Then I got this little guy who I love. He's a little reindeer and his legs are meant to dangle over wherever you put him. Next up I got this thing which does actually light up but there's no batteries in it and none of the other ones in the shop worked. But even though I can't light it up I absolutely love it. So you can move the snow around and we have Santa holding a star and we have some trees there as well. And then we have this little candle holder which I don't have a candle in at the minute but again just very plain and simple and I really really like it. And just to let you know all the ones that I've just mentioned so all these four are from the range as well and actually this fake snow thing here is from the range too. The only other thing that I've got that isn't actually from the range is this sign that says Merry Christmas. This was actually from Tesco and it has a reindeer here and I just think it looks really nice and classy. Again I love the wooden look on it and I think you could just put it anywhere so I'm really happy with all the decorations that I got. I think they're all so so cute. I do also have a mug from M&S with some Christmas trees on it so I think I might put that here so you can see that during my videos as well but I'm not sure because I don't want to overdo it but I'm just obsessed with this at the moment I can't stop staring at it and I genuinely love the gingerbread men more than anything I think they're definitely the best things that I bought so yeah please let me know what you think of this new setup I absolutely love it and I'm going to be so sad when I have to take it down after Christmas but for now I'm just going to keep staring at it because it definitely puts me in the Christmas spirit mm -hmm. 